What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking play, and thank you to everyone who reached out to me and uh, because I opened up my email. And please don't send me. <laughs> y'all are dope. I appreciate it. But I received a, an astounding amount of emails saying loyalty, 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 loyalty. So that's it's dope. So thank you so much. All right. So as y'all been following, Kyrie Irving has been in the news a lot on social media on everybody's platform a lot so is kanye west a lot and it all had to do with um some type of jewish rhetoric all right um anti anti-semitism and those type of things well um louis farrakhan from the nation of islam decided to address this and he's been addressing it ever since it started actually on i've been seeing some clips on ig um on a few people's uh, platforms and you know just following along trying to trying to see what he had to say about it now on this particular video and i'm not gonna play the whole thing it's like 54 minutes i will include the 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 link below um so that you can go check it out for yourself but don't leave yet because i want you to before you go check it out i want to just point out a couple of key points um one i do appreciate louis farrakhan checking this out with him being who he is and how big he is and how respected he is regardless if you agree with him or not um i appreciate him touching this issue i don't um follow louis farrakhan i don't have the same beliefs um belief system as uh, minister louis farrakhan but at the end of the day what he is trying to do um for um Kyrie and Kanye by giving some sort of clarity from his periphery his vantage point um I appreciate it because the people who the people who do listen to him and the people who do respect him whether they follow him or not they need to understand that some of the things that he's saying makes a whole lot of sense now I'm talking about particularly what he says about Mm, considering yourself um god material um as a black person versus considering yourself a all right because he's pointing out how damaging it is to communicate with one another in certain ways and to be so comfortable in communicating with one another in certain ways now the things i don't particularly care for in um, the way he addresses um, certain situations is um, is always that they against us type of way of thinking now what he's saying is based off of his own teachings his own learnings from um, he said every time he speaks he speaks in representation of the honorable elijah muhammad okay and even with him, I don't know a whole lot about him. I only know what I've seen in certain books um, or in certain movies, documentaries, or what I've heard, you know, just from conversations. And I'm just a third party just listening to people talk who actually know. I don't like to talk about things that I don't understand. All right. But when I do understand something, I can go on and on and on and on and on. But when I was listening to this, he was just pointing out the fact that Kyrie Irving is in a phase of his life where he's trying to find himself so that's the reason why he went and that was one of the reasons why he went and checked out the movie hebrew hebrew to the negro to a negro hebrews to a negro i believe that's what it's called the movie that got him in all this trouble that's on amazon prime that i believe is owned by what's the guy named um what's his name jeff jeff I don't know his name. I don't I don't know his name. A, a billionaire who's considering purchasing the Washington Commanders, um, formerly the Washington Redskins. He's on a short list to, to purchase them. Jeff Bezos. That's his name. So um, when he checked out that movie um, and he put it out there that, you know what, I checked out this documentary. I think y'all should check it out, too. I enjoyed it. That came off as if he was supporting an, uh, a potentially anti-Semitic movie. And being that his platform is so huge, it seemed like he was trying to get people out there to go check this out. But the, here's the thing. Um, and just like with any bit of, I don't know, anything out here, um, 
you go and watch whatever you watch for your own enjoyment or your, whether you want to learn. Sometimes people want to consider it edutainment because they want to be educated and, and, um, and entertained, or they just want to watch something to debunk certain things. But it's all about how we look at it, how we look at life and how we were raised up. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if we believe um, that certain things are about hate, that's what we're going to take it as. If we believe it's about love or just education, that's what we're going to take it as. So a lot of people jump to whatever conclusion they want to jump to. And that's your business. Um, I haven't watched the movie yet. I do plan on watching the movie and it's all your fault. Okay. Not the people who click play per se, but the people who keep this conversation going so much that it sparked my, you know, I, 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 I want to see it now. I want to figure out what in the world this is all about. Like, what's the, what's the hubbub? <laughs> I don't usually use hubbub, but I'm just saying. So, but the video that I'm about to, what I'm about to play for you is just the portion that I really um, took something from. But the part, the reason why I'm not playing the entire thing is not only because it's really long, <laughs> it's a really long video pause, but uh, he mentioned some things in here that I don't subscribe to. And I think still when you when you constantly compare races um that is a form of hate i don't care how you look at it you can be as proud of yourself as you hum as you possibly want to be all right be proud of yourself be proud of your race be proud of your heritage be proud of all of that but if you're putting down someone else or you're constantly trying to demean someone else while lifting yourself up that does nothing for me if I don't teach my children to do that, then I'm not going to buy into it either. All right. So that's why I can't, I can't um, review the whole thing with you all because a lot of people that will be disrespected or have been disrespected or have been po pointed out to be less than the African American in this or less than the black man in this video. Um, are people who are my supporters and my followers and I will not put that on my videos to disrespect you all because that that will be intentional you know what I mean but I do have to point to put this out here because I want y'all to see this um, and I'm trying to stop saying the word too when I when I have conversations with friends and and when I'm just upset or when I'm excited because that word is used not only when you're upset as a matter of fact it's usually used in our community when you're happy <laughs> it's it's flipped it's it's been flipped and then that's just is what it is and sometimes it's used for disrespect and people keep on calling me I don't know why but they don't know that I'm working. But at the end of the day, I want you to see this so that we can share this together. All right, let's go. The Bible says of us, ye are all gods, children of the most high God. So ye must have discovered something. He said, I am God. People that were interviewed, they don't, don't talk like that. Why? Because you don't want us to identify with God. It's all right for us to call each other, yo, dog, how things going, dog? But each of us, Elijah Muhammad said, when you see a black man, you are looking at God. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wanted to give us that kind of knowledge, and he made us to stop using the term and call each other brother, call each other sister and learn to love for your brother what you love for yourself. And there are many black people in America and around the world that are digging at the knowledge of self. Many in America digging at the knowledge of self and sharing what they know. Irie Kyrie saw the movie and he wanted to share it with those that follow him. You know how we've been. You find a reefer. <laughs> and it's good <laughs> to you. You call your friends and you share your reefer. <laughs> he said, if you find a reefer and it's good, if you find a reefer, you can tell he ain't never smoked weed. <laughs> if you find a reefer, you find out somebody got that good reefer. <laughs> 
Hey, that's see, that's that's hilarious. I like that. I like that he's he, <laughs> he's 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 being relatable. He's old school, and he's he called it a he calls it a reefer, but he's trying to relate. <laughs> They're not mad with that. <laughs> Yo, dog, come on, let's 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 smoke this blunt. You don't say nothing about that. But when they get knowledge and want to share knowledge, they're not talking against you. They work to make you richer as you work to make them some money too. These people aren't anti-Semitic. Every one of them ain't never done nothing against you as a Jewish person. They don't do that. Not one of those do things to purposely harm a Jewish person. The man went to a movie. He saw something that taught him more about himself, and he wanted to share it. You looked at his passing on what he thought was knowledge that would sink his roots back in the soil of himself and the God, and you felt threatened by that. Why, why owners of the um, nets, what, why did you feel threatened? He didn't call you out by name. He just said he, he saw something and he put it up. You called it what? A, a, a anti-Semitic trope. The movie is almost a little over two hours. I'm sure there are things in there that you didn't like, but there are many things that you all have written about us that we don't like. You have been the one making us hate who we are and hate our origin in the world. You are the one that made Tarzan and told us that that's uh, part of us. You've done all of this to us and we couldn't say nothing. You are the one that made a darkie, a little black sambo, and you made us to see that as who we are. Can't you see that we are tired of that? So because I and others of knowledge are spreading knowledge of God, knowledge of self, knowledge of the time, and also knowledge of an enemy. Because we couldn't be in a condition like this if we're all, all of you were our friends. We have enemies. And those enemies have dropped us down in the barrel of waste. We're not around here hating you. But we tell the truth of what we know of what some of you have done to put us in the condition that we're in. All right. So, um, and that goes on for another 30 minutes and um and as you see that's pretty much the direction of the rhetoric um that comes from minister lewis farrakhan now the reason why i'm covering this is because the main reason that i'm covering this is because you, you wouldn't have seen it you wouldn't have seen it you're not um, a fan of lewis farrakhan you're a fan of the lfr family so when you check out the LFR family, my job is to not only learn um, while, you know, I'm giving my commentary, um, entertain while giving my commentary, but potentially present something new to my community and my supporters that you wouldn't have otherwise seen on your own and give my commentary. Now, as you can see, just from the short bit that I played, um, it's a lot of pain in the way and in, in what he's saying. There's a lot of pain in what he's saying, but depending on your scope, depending on your angle, it could also come off as a lot of hate. Now, he said, we don't hate you. Um, but we like to point out um, to ourselves the stuff that was done to us that holds us down and, and has held us back. Me, I am of the, the thinking that if you constantly focus on those things, that will hold you down and hold you back. 
because I can only look at my 44 years of living. I'm not the type of person that follow people based off of what they want to teach and what they believe to be more important and who they believe they're above or beneath and those type of things. I have friends, family, and people who don't care for me that I know who are also a part of the nation of Islam. I don't follow it, but I have a I have an understanding of certain parts, certain certain things to do with nation of nation of Islam. Um, I don't choose to focus on the things that Louis Farrakhan and people who follow him and believe have the same beliefs as him um, want to focus on. Um, now, am I lying to myself by not focusing on them things? I don't know. Maybe. But at the end of the day, we all make our decisions based off of what will serve us and serve uh, the people we love. And I am a Christian. I'm a Christian. That does not mean I follow a white God, but people from the nation of Islam believe that that is the case because they believe Christianity comes from white people. Now, listen, I don't believe that. I believe that we are all God's children, whether we're white, black, yellow, purple, or other. And I believe that everybody are deserving of respect. I believe our history was effed up because when you don't have a blueprint or something, anything is going to be effed up. And I need you to think about that part, the people who are still watching this video. When you don't have an, a blueprint on something and you're trying to build a nation and you're following the trends of the time, things will be messed up. So with that said, a lot of people who follow certain teachings don't care to learn about all of the continents all of the countries who participated in certain business practices where people were uh, were the product even in our even in the bible slavery was going on back then and so was prostitution but we decided not to participate in prostitution we decide not to speak on it but some people i know people who are in business and in, in dealing with prostitution um i believe that a lot of artists are still in that prostitution business because there are many times uh, i i think that an artist can get a point across and can put out a song without having um, a half-naked woman on a screen but i get it because whenever it comes to marketing, your your product is only as good as the amount of senses you appease. So if you can titillate someone's um, someone's views based off of what you present to them in the form of a beautiful woman or a, a well-structured man as well, depending on who's watching, then you will win more and more and more and we call them models we call them in our models all right so it's many different things that we choose to be a part of and then we choose to not be a part of and we have the right to do that one thing i don't believe we have the right to do well we also have the right to do it but it's not a it's not a good thing we have the right of freedom of speech and sometimes our our speech is hateful sometimes us comparing ourselves to other races and believing we're better than is hateful and you cannot solve any issues by matching hate with hate so if your if your teachings is if your teachings are we were done wrong and we were at the bottom of their shoe like gum and we were hated on and we were enslaved and we were treated badly and all these other things. And these things were done because 
they felt they were better than us and they were above us and your way of fixing that is to say no you are better than them you are above them you should look down on them they are the dirty ones they are the scum of the earth if you decide to teach masses that way of thinking that is in my opinion the definition of hate is teaching hate so i can't subscribe to that now i do sometimes you gotta you know you gotta hurt some people in order to in order to make yourself better i don't know you don't you don't you don't have to hurt anyone to make yourself better you have to hurt yourself to make yourself better sometimes you know you by not ridding yourself of fun you have to discipline yourself someone if you want to build muscle you gotta discipline yourself and hurt your body up a little bit and let it heal and then hurt it again and let it heal and hurt it again and let it heal if you want to put natural um um substances in your body that will not mess up your kidneys and 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 your your bone marrow and all these other things those um not chemicals but those um um, natural foods and drinks are disgusting they're horrible at first it's an acquired taste but it's horrible but if you want to look a certain type of way or feel a certain type of way you have to put yourself through that all i'm saying is i understand what he's trying to say in defense of Kyrie and kanye but i don't agree with his method okay but i am also because of the person that he is and the amount of people who respect him i'm appreciative of him stepping up and speaking to the people who listen to him um with the positive parts because um in my own teachings um i believe that we were shaped in god's image and because we were shaped in god's image and we are also creators it's okay to consider ourselves gods with a lowercase g i I don't mind that at all just like when we're raising our children our 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 boys we call them young soldiers we call them kings our baby girls we call them princesses we call them queens so i have no issue with lifting people up i do have an issue with putting people down in order to lift people up i don't think that has to be necessary there's no difference from bullying what's the difference you don't have to put anyone down to lift someone up you don't you don't have to put your nose um your nose up and think that you're better than everybody what's the point of that that solves nothing it solves nothing so when it came to Kyrie and him trying to figure out who he was and him watching that movie and him sharing that documentary with people I don't see no issue with that I I really don't I don't because there's many other things that we've shared with people that's not frowned upon at like what he mentioned weed um we share websites that are just grotesque we share um certain drinks certain certain things and you, you already know if you drink too many things um too many bits of uh, too many spirits they call them spirits that would negatively affect our bodies and we will slowly de- well we will deteriorate faster than someone who drinks more water depending on where they're drinking that water all right saying all this to say um let's try love guys i know that sounds cliche but let's let's try it all right let's 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 try that and for people out there who are gaining knowledge of self your knowledge of self should not demean someone else if your knowledge of self demeans someone else um or puts down someone else regardless of the history of where you got that information 
um, I believe you're going in the wrong direction. That's just me. But feel free to let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. And now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. And shout out to everyone who has been reaching out to me with the loyalty tag. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. And don't, please, please, listen. <laughs> my, my, my inbox is... is quite full right now <laughs> all right all right love y'all